Hello there. Um, it's good to be back. Haven't done this in a while. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to s get started with TypeScript in Ember. Um, I just updated my Ember CLI and let's uh, start create a new app. So this is, it takes a little bit. I just installed all the dependencies. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of files. This is just the default um, scaffolding for a new Ember application. Um, with, when, when we set up TypeScript, we, uh, there is a, a community uh, approved way to do that. And that's um, Ember Select TypeScript. So I'm gonna just copy this command from um, their docs here. <coughs> And what this command is going to do for us is uh, install this add-on. Um, and once it's installed, it'll also run some additional uh, functionality there. So let me just run that here. So it'll run some more blueprints um, to add some files that are related to um, getting TypeScript working. So let's, let's see how that works here. So it's like we're getting some additional packages installed. Um, Ember CLI TypeScript blueprints. So those replace the default Ember CLI blueprints um, when necessary. And we also get TypeScript and a couple other things. We also have a few files here. So we have some types for the config um, so if you are extending the config, this is where you want to um, provide those types. We have a TS config and then a types folder with some Ember types and where our custom module uh, type declarations can go. Um, so yeah, let's um, let me just start this. Oops. Give that a moment to boot up. That looks like we have um, some type errors right from the get go here. Um, yeah, um, not a great sign. Looks like there's some things in the works. Uh, let me just. Close that, put it here. So our app is running and expand here. We have our config. So I have some types declared. Um, let me just run, let me just create a controller here. Um, actually, let me create a component real quick. And let's see here. test component uh, we have so if you notice here um, we have new files here that have type uh, TypeScript extension here and .ts uh, for the tests and for the actual component class so let's see here uh, yep looks like we have some so we have a template and a class here. So we can define some attributes here. So let's define an argument um, name. So what we just, this definition of the args is basically what uh, arguments can be supplied to our uh, component here. So let's renders component, we'll remove the welcome page, we'll do test, and then do at name, and then I'll just put my name in. And so save that, and save this. So if we go back here, 
you'll see nothing because we didn't do anything with that. Um, and so let's see here. Test the HBS. We will remove this and then we'll do at name. Uh, we'll just render the name. So there you go, there's the name. Um, so now let's, let's do look at hello world. Um, and we'll just return See the name shows up because we defined the uh, this interface here. So uh, VS Code can take advantage of that. Um, let's do that. Save it, and then we can do we can render that hello. And if we go here, hello Ilya. So I mean that that's the basics. Um, literally one command away to get uh, TypeScript up and then you're off to the races and um, you can start writing TypeScript and I mean your JavaScript can live side by side if you want to if you have an existing project um, yeah and it, it's just great well, I hope this was useful for you and um, yeah let me know in the comments if you want to see videos like this or other videos um, yeah, looking forward to hearing from you. Take care.